It is very cool seeing players in new places. And Corey Kluber for the New York Yankees, this guy's looking to make an impact. As the rotation currently stands, Kev, obviously Garrett Cole is the ace. But after that, you've got a little Jamison Tyone. you got a little uh, Jordan Montgomery, Domingo Herman, Davey Garcia, etc. And Kluber in his Yankees spring debut against the Jays, two perfect innings, three strikeouts, 22 pitches, 15 strikes. Now, the Jays did not have Springer, Bichette, or Vlad Jr. in the lineup. But this is a guy who turns 35 next year. One year, $11 million. He threw one inning in 2020. 2019 at a 5.80 ERA, but he also won the Cy Young back in 2014 and 2017. This is the classic low risk, high reward for the Yankees. Yeah, you got a nice veteran with great presence and nothing, nothing, nothing too big out there for him. You just see him, he's calm, even through his bad innings. That's what you look at. There's not this poor me. His bad innings he grinds, his good innings he grinds. You never see this demeanor change. 100% though, this is the most important guy in that rotation. Uh, just because if he has the kind of year, and we're not saying go out there and go 20 and 4, but we're saying go out there and just be healthy, be healthy with that wipeout slider. Now you're going to see some stuff right there. And James and Tyon, like you said, his story and his situation. This is a very, very intriguing staff because the last few guys that you named at the back end can also play huge parts because they got great, great stuff. Yeah, the Clark Schmitz and the Davey Garcias, Jordan Montgomery's, if they can Montgomery? supplement. Yeah, and they're yes. going to get Luis Severino back probably in June or July. So I agree with you. This rotation, there's about seven, eight guys fighting for five spots, but you need over the course of the season seven or eight guys. We've learned that That's today's right. game. And one thing about Kluber, you can speak to this, Kev. Familiarity is always a big thing. Eric Cressy is the strength coach. He has a longstanding relationship with him. And Matt Blake, who's the pitching coach, he worked with him in the Cleveland organization. So in many ways, Kluber's going to have his guys around him. Yeah, he's just going to have to get used to being that clean-shaven guy now. You know what I'm saying? There's no facial hair. So that's it. Once, once you get over that stuff, everything's going to be fine. Good news is we got Cressy and Blake. Bad news is you got to shave. Oh, my God. Every day? Well, right. I mean, every other day we won't be able to push it. But, yeah, that's what the boss demands. All right, that's what it comes to Corey Kluber. Other news as we turn over to the National League, how about Adam Duvall and the Marlins? Duvall hit his first spring home run on Wednesday. He signed with the Marlins for one year, $5 million guaranteed this offseason. He was non-tendered by the Braves. This guy's got pop. Back-to-back -to -back 30 or more home run seasons with the Reds in 2016 and 2017. The thought is this, realistic odds. Can the Marlins go back to the playoffs? Listen, I love Don Mattingly. I, I cheer for Sixto Sanchez. But Vegas right now, Bet MGM has the over-under at 70 and a half wins. This team is not going to the playoffs. Kev, what are the odds they can go back to the dance if there are indeed only 10 playoff teams? Very tough division. Very tough division. I mean, it, it, it is going to be a dogfight long year, right? Not saying they can't, mm -hmm. but yes, their odds are against them, period. End of story. But when you're in that clubhouse, they believe in each other. The one thing about the fighting fish, they believe in each other. They can say bottom feeders, have shirts made, but they got a great group with chemistry. And then you got to go and add Adam Duvall. Go, what happens all of a sudden? He hits another 30 and he's back. This is the situation. When Adam gets a bat, he hits homers. Marlins were 25th in home runs, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, when I look at the offense, that's what concerns me. Corey Dickerson, Starling Marte, Jesus Aguilar, Duvall, Anderson, like Miguel Rojas. You're expecting a lot of guys to have to step up. Whereas they're pitching, listen, you can talk and be impressed by their pitching staff. Sandy Alcantara, Pablo Lopez, Sixto Sanchez, Trevor Rogers. They can pitch. I just don't think they have the bats, as you said, over the course of the season. 31 and 29 was enough to make the playoffs. 16 teams in a 60 game year. Over 162, that's tough. Yeah, it's a tough, it's a tough, it's a tough season, the baseball season. But things happen throughout the season. Last year was the best story in baseball. See if they can repeat it.